is a book review of The Sounds of the 60s, BBC Radio 2 by Phil Spurn and the ultimate 60s music companion. It's got a little intro with Brian Matthews in front there. I love that show, Sound of the 60s, just the best show. Listen to it regularly. And this has got about Brian, obviously, contents. You've got the hits, Beatles covers, classical pop, double A sides, instrumentals, junior choice, novelty records, pops on the screen, psychedelic era, collectibles, and so on. And you've got a big section on the hits. And it's got like, this is uh, 100 hit singles. So you've got, and of course, you might go through this and find songs that you love are not included. Obviously, you've got famous songs like Crazy by Patsy Cline, In and Out of Love by Diana Ross and the Supremes. Now, sometimes some of these songs, of course, might be big in just the US, or maybe they were big in UK only. Now, this book is not totally just UK. So obviously this one, Crazy, Patsy Cline, US number nine. Now, I don't know how successful it was in the UK. Oh, apparently it says here, it wasn't until its reissue in 1990 that it made it to the British top 20. So it's not all of it has to be mega successful in the UK. And also it's got lovely things like this as well. The New Musical Express, a lovely uh, thing. I'd love to see a book of all the covers of the New Musical Express of the 60s and the 70s. That would be a brilliant book. Yeah, I mean, you could do it easily. 50 odd, obviously weeks, so 50 uh, thing, you know, 500 pages, 500 page book, you've got the entire 60s all in one single book. That would be amazing. However, this book, I just love the little blurbs because it's got blurbs about it, as well as a bit of information. And also, of course, it gives the chart position as well. However, one mere quibble, of course, things like, oh, I love that one, Concrete and Clay, one of my favourite songs, Unit 4 Plus 2. But it doesn't, of course, go to France, Germany, Sweden, Spain, Uruguay. I'm just thinking about Australia, New Zealand, and so on and so on, all the different countries. And, of course, they had their own charts and their own popular songs. And songs by, like, the Beatles, of course, I'm certain were in a lot of those charts. But some of these stars that or people that uh, reduce things over here never got in charts at all. No one would ever have heard of them. But they were big in the States or they were big in Germany, big in, you know, Australia or something, but or Switzerland or somewhere. Just somewhere other than just the UK and the US. But still, this one, I'll Never Get Over You, Johnny Kidd and the Pirates. Right, Beatles covers, you got obviously Otis Red in there. And apparently he did uh, Day Tripper. And some of these things, this cover was uh, released in 1966, a little known fact, blah, blah, blah. And it's, so it's got a lot of details. However, due to security, yeah, didn't realise that. So there's lots of information that's in this book. This one, uh, From a Window. Uh, Chad and Jeremy, and so on and so on. Classical pop. Also, you've got double A sides, Under My Thumb, Last Time. So you've got, obviously, The Who, Nancy Sinatra, You Only Live Twice. Oh, wow, 1967. Hmm. So, again, obviously, picture there of Nancy Sinatra. And I just think this book is just absolutely amazing. Just covers so much material. Uh, Junior Choice. Now, <laughs> There's some really weird ones here. Bangers and Mash, Peter Sellers and Sophie Loren. Again, he's got a little bit of blur. This was 1961. Following their success, it was goodness gracious me. Remember that one. Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? Pinky and Perky. Oh, I love Pinky and Perky. When I was younger. <laughs> they sound terrible now, but that's, I don't know. I haven't really listened to them recently. Maybe I'm. Des O'Connor, Thin Chow Main. And obviously, novelty records again. And there's loads of Kinky Boots on a Blackman. Patrick McNee, Bo Dudley, The Collectibles. Some of these, of course, some of these songs. Till You Say You'll Be Mine, Olivia Newton-John. It's actually got here, valued by record collector, and it sort of gives her how much it goes for. Unbelievable. Oh, Northern Soul Classic, The Springers. Hmm. And so on, so on. So The Collectibles, you've got obviously pictures of the sleeves there and the, the labels. The Renettes, they sang it first. That's always quite often quite great. When you... Find going through here, you f you find songs that have become famous, and you think, oh, that was by, and then suddenly you realise that actually it was by someone else. Like here, he's a rebel by Vicky Carr. You know, you think, wow, wherever I lay my hat, Marvin Gaye, and it's got again a lot of bit of information about it and when it's recorded, etc. The one before the hit, 
And that's another thing, of course. You've always got sometimes the song before they become super famous. You've got the song that I get so excited by, The Equals. And you've got TV and radio themes, ska hits. I love that. Reggae, ska and blue beat. Turntable hits. Windy Association. I love that song. A Little Bit of Soap by The Exciters. Don't know that song at all. Dance Craze. Mambo number five, and so on and so on. There's just so many great songs here. The Roach, all different dances, the push and kick. I've been twisting. Michael and the Slipper Tree. And the songs are over and over again when you flick through this book, I just never heard of. And it's always quite good because it's a reference book. You can always then go and like on Spotify, Amazon, or just go and buy the records, and there's loads of collections of all these brilliant songs. And just go through some of these and explore lots of these some Great, great music. And this is yet another brilliant reference book. I just love to look through and just think, oh, that's a good song. Let's just play that. We'll find out more about that band or this band, the Spopniks, those sort of things. Just pretty, very unusual looking back. However, this is book, I didn't say the book. This is by Red Planet. Yeah, Red Planet there. The ultimate 60s music companion. 